evening, everyone. This is Tuesday, September 12th, and this is Creating Cards with Sherry, and I am Sherry, and I'm so glad that you have joined me today for my Tickle Tuesday video. Today we're going to do a fun fold Christmas card, and uh, it's going to be very similar to this. I'll take you step by step as to how it's done, and uh, we'll have a really nice card when we're finished. All right. That's our fun fold card. Okay, we are going to start with some black, basic black paper. And what you're going to want to do is cut a four and a quarter by 11. So you're going to take the regular page and instead of cutting it in half um, when it's horizontal, you're going to put it vertical and cut it in half that way. And so that'll be four and a quarter by 11 inches. You're going to score at five and a half, which is the middle of this. And then you're going to cut three inches off. All right. So that's what we're going to start with. That's where we get um, our fold. Then uh, right away, I went ahead and I took some four by five and a quarter vanilla paper and I'm going to use that as my inside but before I do that I'm going to stamp some stars inside and I'm using my wild wheat <clears throat> and this stamp is from the stars at night stamp set found in our mini catalog I used this stamp set tonight with the stars at night die cuts all right so here we go i'm gonna ink that up and we're just gonna put that right in the upper left hand corner okay then i am going to take my stamp and seal and I'm going to put that on so that we can adhere this to the inside of our card. And we're just going to lay it right in here and center it the best that we can. There we go. And that will be that. Then, um, I'm trying to think now because I want to carefully put this together. All right. <clears throat> then I have two pieces here. I have a two and a quarter by four of the Joyful DSP found in our mini catalog and I'm going to be placing that right here but before I do that I'm going to take this four and a quarter by two and a half of shaded spruce and I'm going to line this up so that the edge goes right there and I'm going to put it in the center so I need to have some adhesive right on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there, take the adhesive, and I'm just going to flip it over and put this down right here. Line it up with that edge and stick her down. And then I'm going to take my DSP paper. And I'm going to lay that right on top, centering it with a black border all around it. Okay. Then I have two pieces that I used where I used the die cuts and I used embossing powder. So I'm going to talk about that for a little bit. The die cuts that I used were this one and this one. The stamps that I used, I will show, I'm going to show you how I did this one, but I also used this big star stamp. And what I did is I stamped it and then I centered this uh, big one around it and then just cut that out. And I got the little stars too, but that comes all apart and um, so that there's three different stars and I'm just using the big star. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'm going to show you how I use this with the uh, embossing powder. Okay. Uh, 
you need a scrap of vanilla paper. By the way, this star was done on crushed curry uh, paper. And I use, what I'm going to use now is called Versamark Watermark Stamp Set. And what it does is you can stamp your, put your stamp on it and put it on your paper. And it comes out clear. You don't see any color with it. I don't know if I hold this up. You can kind of see that there's some writing on there. And um, and then you choose the color you want to emboss with. Now I used gold for the star and I'm going to use the black for this message. So I'm just going to show you how it's done. And just pour that across. Shake off all the excess. And then you're going to take the embossing powder gun. The embossing gun and you'll heat this up. This is a this is a heat gun and it'll get really hot and it will raise the ink that you have printed there. I've already got one done, so we're just going to go ahead and use that because it gets noisy and hard to hear. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. All right. Um, let's see. What else do I want to tell you real quick? I think that's about it. All right. I am going to take my star that I have already cut and embossed, and I'm going to put some liquid glue down. And I'm going to place that right here. And I'm going to take my message and I'm going to use my stamp and dimensionals on this one. Put that towards the top here on my shaded green piece. And then I've already um, folded up my or made my bow, so I'm going to take my mini glue dots and I'm going to put one on the back of my bow and put my bow right there and this is the vanilla and black uh i don't remember the name of it exactly i'll have to look it up and it will be on my blog but it's a checked or gingham i'm not sure what they call it it's very flexible to use and and soft i, I really like it very nice to work with and there we have our fun fold christmas card isn't that easy to do and um it turns out really cute. This one I did not do any embossing on, well, other than the star. I did not do em embossing on that, and I did not raise it with the stamp and dimensional. So that's what it looks when it's just like that. And then when you um, add the dimensionals and the embossing powder, it kind of brings it out more, pops it up. So I, I like this version better. Both I, I like both colors, but I like this version better. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that today. Be sure if you want any of the products that you have seen here to go to my shop at creatingcardswithsherry.stampinup.net. Use the host code ZF9BGGPN. And uh, you can go to my blog later on tomorrow and at creatingcardswithsherry.blogspot.com and I should have all the instructions, the measurements and everything there for you for this card. So you have a great evening. I will see you again on Sunday for my Simple Sunday video. Bye now.